like to get to you early before yeah. it all hits the fan. Yeah. Can we walk up into the trailer yeah. just to get out of the wind? Oh, and there's that. <laughs> that could go That's on for a while. Track, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The James Dean Classic yeah. USAC feature winner. Was that the event that you finished second in yeah. at Gas City? Yeah. Wow. So who won that race? Buddy. Of so he's my your teammate. your teammate. Yeah. So yeah. close. That's the as you were telling me, second place ties the record for the highest finish for a female driver in USAC national midget competition. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. So yeah. female hasn't won, so definitely thriving for that. Uh, and I understand you qualified fourth. Yes. Yeah, that was my first time qualifying on dirt in a silver crown car. So that was that was cool to come in and qualify fourth. You know, so tonight we start fourth in the feature. So hopefully we do something cool in that. Do you have to pace yourself in that race? Do you have to manage it, or is it just push the pedal down and go? I mean, yeah, like on pavement, you really have to kind of manage, like especially the 100 lappers, but like 50 laps on dirt, like you kind of have to have a pace, but I mean, you're pretty much, you're going as soon as green flag drops, like you're trying to, you know, get to the lead and get a pace rolling. Yeah. Well, what kind of mental adjustments do you have to make in your head to go from a little bitty whatever they are 800 900 pound midget to a bigger heavier crown car you know car. it's actually it's they're way different like you get in a crown car and it feels like you're driving a bus and it's insane <laughs> but you get in the midget and you think oh my god it's going to be so slow compared to the crown car but really it feels faster in a midget than it does a crown car even though the crown car is you know huge and got a bigger motor like the midgets are a lot faster reacting and you know it just feels way faster in a midget so you know i think the midget if anything he's getting me ready for the crown car does it mess you up a little bit to go from a little light car to jump in a big heavy car i mean yeah that seems like a big adjustment it is it is you have to definitely remember what car you're driving because you know you got to remember how wide your car is you can't enter completely on the wall like you can a midget because you'll run into the wall with your tail tank so you definitely have to have that in the back of your mind and you can tell whenever you get out there how heavy a freaking silver crown car is so you know you definitely just have to prepare for that um, you're from Muskogee, Muskogee, Oklahoma. Muskogee, Oklahoma. Yeah. Do you do you still live there, or are yes. you? Okay. Well, I live in Broken Arrow now. Okay, Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah, but when you go home to Muskogee, mm -hmm. um, you know, looking back through your grade school and high school pals, do they are they watching what you're doing here? Because it's yeah. pretty remarkable. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I have a lot of friends like on Instagram and keep up with it. You know, all the social medias. I don't get to hang out with a lot of them because whenever you're on the road every weekend, you never you're never really home. So. You know, it's cool if they keep up with that. Well, I guess, like, my two best friends, I'm an old dude, as you can tell, yeah. um, but, hey, you didn't supposed to agree with <laughs> Come on, now. No, I, I have these two friends from grade school, from the fifth grade, mm -hmm. that are still my best yeah. friends. Do you have any lifelong friends that are still with you, or have you kind of moved on from that? I mean, I have a lot of friends in the racing world because I'm constantly racing every weekend, and I hang yeah. out with a lot of racers, but, you know, I still got friends from school, but you never really get to see them as much whenever you're on the road every week. Yeah, yeah understood mm -hmm. what what does the off season hold for you what i mean are you going to focus on something else do you it will be, there'll be a time when you get away from racing to I, readjust to be honest no like you know we get to off season and my parents are on Sawyer chassis so if i'm not racing i'm in the shop working getting ready for you know shootout season we got to get the trailer we're going to pri we'll have the silver crown and my micros uh, pri so I'm constantly doing something that involves race cars, so I don't I don't think I get an off season to go, you know, go travel the world or something crazy like that. <laughs> I get to do that racing. Yeah, and of course the Chili Bowl will yes. be right around the corner. Yes, that, it's a hectic. As well. I feel like if anything, it's more hectic in the off season, just preparing for all of that stuff. Uh, I believe it.
In terms of setting the car up, is it a process of you getting to know what Kaylee wants? Do you know what she wants out of the car now, or where are you at? Or how do you guys connect on that? Well, I mean, you know, pretty much what I've been doing, and when I say been doing, I mean with Tanner and Chris Wyndham, um, you know, running my stuff at Winchester and Raceway Park, is I take the race cars to the racetrack like I would run them, and then, uh, you know, take the input from there. And, you know, she has so few laps in these cars that I don't even think she really knows what she wants, you know. So she had a pretty good car in qualifying. She probably could have been a couple more spots forward. Um, but she's, she drives it hard, and, and she's good at what she does. And, you know, I, I, she's way better than me at running the dirt. So the, the, the dirt deal's hers, and the pavement deal's kind of mine. So all, she, all I can do is, is do what she asks. And, um, you know, I made the right changes last night. She got more comfortable, and she's having fun, I think. Yeah, but you've been doing this a long time in terms of driving and setting up the car. So you set the car up the way you know how, and then you adjust from there. Is that I mean, fair? A lot of, you can walk up and down this pit road and ask everybody down through here. And there's a basic setup that you would bring to a half mile, and there's a setup that you would take to a mile. Um, so this thing's pretty much just basic, um, nothing fancy, um, higher way out, and I took a lot of stagger away from it and made a couple changes to the front. And, I didn't really mess with it much. I mean, she needs more laps than, than me trying to jack with the car until she gets comfortable. So give me your assessment, how's she doing? I don't know, I think she does a great job. She learns really fast when we went and did the TA testing and, and stuff in Nashville. I mean, she yeah, got she right. she tested a road course Camaro or something? She ran uh, the two-seater uh, SGT car that we have. So it's a two-seat C6 Corvette with a cage. At I mean, it's Nashville? a race car Super on slick, yes. So, so she ran the oval or is there a road course? There's a road course there. Okay. So she ran the Corvette for, you know, a couple hours and we were doing a shakedown for our TA2 program. And uh, so I kind of got her started going on the road course and uh, let her ride with me because I'd never been there. So I had to learn the track before I could teach her anything. Um, and uh, she rode with me and then I sent her out by herself while I could concentrate on something else. She got used to the track and kind of got halfway on to the downshifting. It's really hard to do in one day. Um, but when we took her out of the Corvette, put her in the T2 car, she didn't have to worry about the clutch. And um, she really got onto that real fast. And she, she does a great job. And I don't see what's going to hold her back, really. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> attitude is sometimes more than half the battle. If, For sure. If you have the right attitude and a good positive mental attitude, you know, the rest is falls in line. But you have to start with that. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, she does a great job, and you know we we all get along. Meaning uh, her family, and you know we just met, you know her grandpa Mike and and, and Chad and you know Jan, and uh, it's all been kind of a really an easy mesh together. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's in good hands. Here. Yeah, for yeah. sure. She actually, you know, for as little time as I've that I've been able to be around her, she gets this look in her eyes through her helmet like like just like a gateway what do i have to do to go faster get more laps <laughs> you know what i mean get more experience she she's rough on herself but if you're talking Honestly, she's listening she seems to be yeah you know yeah. But, yeah no she does a great job we're glad to have her around and um i like doing what i'm doing standing in the infield and watching um, my stuff go around and be able to tune on it and, and have somebody that's, uh, she's, she's going to go somewhere. She's Watch. going places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Loud and clear, man. Thank you so much. All right, buddy. See ya. All right, good seeing you.
Outside of racing, I mean, yeah. I love history. Yeah. Uh, um, what, what, what are you into? I love animals. I love like going on hikes. Anything outdoors, I love. Like I love water. Going to the beach. Just I love golfing. I'm like really sporty. I like to play like whatever sports, even if it's just for fun. You know, like my parents got the camper out there, so me and my cousin have been playing football and you know all that kind of stuff. So definitely just anything sporty, anything outdoors, I love. You, you said last time I talked to you that you like. One of your favorite foods is chicken, like yeah, winter, winter it, chicken dinner. It still is. Chicken. It still is. Okay, yeah. still it didn't change. No. Okay, but when you're at the track, do you bring your own food and prepare your uh, meals ahead of time, or you do? Do you eat the same cheeseburger I'm about to eat? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Normally, okay. I, I'll I'll pack food and I try and be somewhat healthy because whenever you got freaking fifty laps in a silver crown car and thirty in a midget, you kind of gotta have somewhat of a good protein system in your body. So. Sure. Sure. definitely try and prepare for that it is uh is racing your exercise or do you still i mean do you it's definitely like i wear my watch and like my activity will get up there for the day whenever i'm in a car but oh, I believe definitely that. like whenever i'm not racing i try and hit the gym and run my miles whatever i gotta do to stay in shape so i'm 100 percent whenever i'm on the racetrack extra pressure bouncing back between a midget and a silver crown car tonight i mean not or is really. that just what you do it's just it's just part of racing you know yeah you, you, more pressure you put on yourself you know it's not as well to do but I'm always putting pressure on myself because I want to do good and I don't really feel pressure from the outside world it's more of what I put on myself It's about 2023 where you're going what you're going to do is it follow the same track you did mention something about running some road courses yeah, which sounds totally that's, cool. that's the goal like i'm absolutely in love with like f1 racing you know? are you really yeah like i i spend a lot of time watching all that stuff so you watch f1 racing oh yeah that's oh, yeah. that's my favorite so getting the chance to go run some road courses next year is going to be really cool i'm going to love that very much do you pay attention to the indianapolis 500 of course, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, how big a deal is that for you? To me, that's yeah. the ultimate race, but yeah. I don't know what it is for you. I mean, that's you. a pretty big deal, honestly. Like, honestly, like, ultimate goal, everybody asks, like, hey, do you want to get to NASCAR? Like, yeah, NASCAR would be really cool, but, like, man, I want to do more than that, you know? Like, IndyCar, F1, like, that's such cool stuff whenever they're on road courses and open-wheel cars are just really cool to me. Thank you so much for your time. Yep. I appreciate you. You know that. And I'm going to be rooting for you tonight, if that's okay, too. Thank you. All Appreciate right, thank it. you.